Hey guys, welcome back to Unstop Biology. So guys, in today's video, we are going to cover plant development. If you remember, we are right now at chapter 15 and we are covering plant growth and development. So we have already covered plant growth, different points, different aspects in plant growth. Today, we are going to cover plant development. Now, before we start off with plant development, guys, if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed to it yet, please do subscribe it and press the bell icon to get all the notifications and do keep giving your feedbacks also if you are able to understand my videos please do like it and share it with all your friends so guys before we start off with the term development we are also going to see three different terminologies these terminologies are differentiation de-differentiation and re-differentiation so there are three words differentiation de-differentiation and re-differentiation. Now guys, what happens that the cells which are derived from shoot apical meristem or root apical meristem and then the cambium, they differentiate and mature to perform specific functions right so basically differentiation is the act leading to maturation we say that differentiation is the act leading to maturation so in the previous videos we also saw various type of phases in growth right so we saw three types of phases in growth if you remember and if you have seen the video if not guys please do watch the video after you complete this one right so we saw that the initial apex part of the root or shoot it keeps on dividing the cells keeps on dividing and that is the meristematic phase now just above that there is the elongation phase and at the end is the maturation phase so as these cells mature they start performing specific functions. They, they basically become part of a specific tissue which performs a function. So this basically act of which is which leads to maturation is differentiation, right? Now during differentiation, cells undergo various structural changes both in the cell wall and protoplasm. For example, if a cell has to form a tracheary element, right? To form a tracheary element, the cells would lose their protoplasm. They also develop a very strong elastic and lignocellulosic cell, secondary cell wall to carry water to long distances, even under extreme pressure and tension right so basically in order to perform specific function the anatomical features changes in terms of the cell wall and the protoplasm right so this is differentiation now plants show another very interesting phenomenon which is basically the living differentiating differentiated cells the living mature cells they by this time lose the capacity to divide so basically mature cells do not divide right so basically they lose the capacity to divide and they they can regain it right so the capacity of division are under certain conditions now what happens is basically normally these mature cells do not divide do they do not further divide right so the lost capacity to divide can be regained under certain conditions right now this phenomenon is termed as de differentiation so basically this is de differentiation for example now formation of meristems right so basically there is interfascicular inter 
fascicular cambium right and cork cambium right so now these are fully right these basically are fully differentiated they are formed from fully differentiated parenchyma muscles while doing this you know division and maturation such meristems or tissues are able to divide and produce cells that once again lose the capacity to divide and mature to perform specific functions right so here what is happening mature cells have now regained the capacity to divide they are dividing and forming mature cells again which cannot be divided right so basically this is redifferentiation right now again i'll repeat redifferentiation again now say basically formation of meristems right so interfascicular and cork cambium they form fully differentiated parenchyma cells right while forming fully differentiated parenchyma cells these meristems or tissues are able to divide and produce cells that once again lose the capacity to divide and they mature to perform specific functions now this is known as redifferentiation okay so if you think of various methods you'll see that the cells of the plants have the capacity to divide and you know after that what happens is they mature that process of maturation is differentiation now they can at any time regain right under certain conditions regain the capacity to divide again that is de differentiation right and then during the process of differentiation they basically once again lose the capacity to divide and mature to perform specific functions so now that is again re differentiation so that is re they again re differentiate right now that is why if you remember the first point of growth we said that growth in plants is open it can be indeterminate or it can be determinate it is open so this type of growth is known as open type of growth right now we must also say that differentiation in plants remember guys differentiation in plants is open now because cells tissues arising from same meristem have different structure at maturity the final structure at maturity of the cell or tissue is also determined by the location of the cell which is inside for example a cell positioned away from the root apical meristem right i'll, I'll repeat it again cells which are positioned away from the root apical meristem differentiate at as root cap cells right while those are at the periphery mature as epidermis right so this is all about differentiation de differentiation and re differentiation now let's see what exactly is development let's see the development part right now guys development basically includes all changes in the organism that goes during the life cycle of that particular organism so from in case of plants it will be from germination so development will start from germination to the senescence right so basically starting from germination of the seed to the senescence of the plant this entire phase is nothing but development right we can also see a diagrammatic you know representation of the sequence so here if you see the diagrammatic let's see this okay let's see this so what is happening here is we have meristematic cells we have meristematic cells right these keep on dividing so there is plasmating growth this these there are some cells who will keep on dividing so you see here cell division meristematic cell again cell division meristematic cells right now basically 
after plasmatic growth comes differentiation right so they'll differentiation they'll mature right and they they lead they're basically leading to senescence now right so again in between there is a expansion phase elongation phase maturation phase right and the mature cell is will ultimately basically lead to death so this is senescence and then ultimately death so basically guys plants follow different pathway in response to environment or phases you know of life to form different kind of structures this ability is known as plasticity this is known as plasticity right for example there is heterophyll in cotton coriander or different such you know such different plants now in such plants what is happening is the leaves the leaves of a small plant of a juvenile plant will be different in shape from those in the mature plant so say if in juvenile the leaf is say something like this in a mature plant an adult will find the leaf to be like this okay now on the other hand this different in shape of leaves produced in air and those produced in water also represent heterophilous development due to environmental conditions so basically this phenomenon of heterophily this is known as heterophily so this phenomenon of heterophily is an example of plasticity and that is why we say growth differentiation and development all three are very closely related events in the life of a plant and development itself is considered as sum of growth and differentiation so basically we say that development is growth plus differentiation it is a sum of growth plus and differentiation okay now de development in, in in plants which is basically now including both you will always have to remember that when we talk about plant development it includes growth and differentiation now this is under control of two kinds of factors it can be an intrinsic factor or extrinsic factor okay so it can be an intrinsic or an extrinsic factor and this intrinsic one right it includes both intracellular intracellular and intercellular factors such as we have plant growth regulators while the extrinsic factors basically consider the environmental factors under this right so this includes light temperature so we have light we have temperature we have water oxygen or nutrition all kinds of outside factors are basically extrinsic factors right so now guys we know about development now we'll basically understand the intrinsic factors in the next video which is the plant growth regulators i hope you would have understood the concept of development and differentiation if yes please do like the video and share it with your friends and guys if you have any doubt please do ask your doubt in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed and press the bell icon to get all the updates all the notifications thanks for watching this video guys see you in the next one till then take care bye bye